Hello again, YouTube. This is Truth Man giving you the truth. And today I'm talking about charitable giving, tithing, and I'm going to compare it to savings, uh, people who save, so on and so forth, right? We're talking about money on this one, but more, more so from the standpoint of giving. Now, first things first, are you required by the most high to tithe money or anything no no in fact the things that they tithe had nothing to do with money it had to do with things that were grown out of the ground that's why it was called a storehouse a storehouse is basically a barn now with that being said uh are you required by the most high to give money and the answer is no but you should and the giving that he respects is when you give like abel did see abel gave from a standpoint that i'm here because of the most high everything that i have is because of the most high so here he gave him the best of what he had and he did it because he wanted to do it that's another thing nobody should ever twist your arm to give nobody should ever coerce you to give when you give you give when, where, and how you want. Let's understand that. Now, we already established that tithing wasn't money and that you're not required to give money by the Most High, but He will bless you and He will uh, make things happen for you and the universe that He created will work in your favor when you give with the right intentions. But let's compare. Let's compare. Okay, first, first thing. Who has gotten rich off of tithing the answer is the preachers that's who gets rich off of tithing so let's do a comparison so if you make a thousand dollars a week and you tithe a hundred dollars per week that's fifty two hundred in a year whereas if you save the same amount a hundred dollars a week you have been to save $5,200 by the end of the year. There's your emergency fund. There's the money you've been praying to God for. See, you've been giving it out of necessity to preachers thinking the Most High going to bless you when he already did. He already gave you the money that you have. Now, remember what he taught in the Ten Talents. That which the one person tries to hide, and, and he said you could have just put it in a bank account and gave it back with interest. He said, but this person tried to hide it, meaning the little they had, they didn't try to increase it, and they didn't try to give it, they just put it in the ground. You know, that's the equivalent of a person who just does nothing with their money. Then he was giving an example. The rich get richer, that's a universal uh, character characteristic and if you listen to the rich richest man in Babylon which I've been listening to the audio book when you have money it makes the universe want to give you more it's almost like sometimes like when weeds grow the, the residue from the weed will create new weeds weeds I said weeds <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe there's so many weaves out there, but I don't, I'm not one to have a problem with weave, but we off subject. Uh, anyway, so if you save $100 a week, that's $5,200 a year. That's $5,200 a year. And let's say a person who tithed for four years and a person who saved for four years, the same amount, $100, they would have... $20,800 if they save $100 a week. Now, most of you, let me ask you something. Those of you who've been praying to God for financial miracles and blessings, right? Okay. Uh, is that need $20,800 or less? Do you make 1000 a week? Okay. Saving versus tithing, you're going to have more from saving. And when you give, you shouldn't give out of necessity. 
there you have it truth man like share and subscribe the channel is the no matrix no simping all subjects channel thanks for watching